Okay, let's get busy and discover the difference between inline versus internal CSS. To do that, I'm going to go to my favorite website, w3schools.com, and they show you in the beginning there's three ways that you can put CSS into websites. There's external style sheets we'll learn later, and right now we're focusing on the internal versus inline. So if I go down to the inline section, you can see there's just one line of code. And you can see there's an HTML element, H1. Then there's the word style, which stands for cascading style sheet, CSS. And that's where you get your style attribute and your CSS properties. And notice they're separated by semicolons and closed in quotes. It's in the same line with the other HTML code, thus inline coding. But look what happens if I want to have another H1 in the equation. It doesn't turn blue and have a left margin of 30 because I didn't put the CSS directly in the same line with the H1 tag. So you can see down here there's a tip to you. It says inline styles can lose some of the advantages of a style sheet or internal styling because it's mixing content with presentation. So when would you use it? If there's just one element that you would like to have be different on a page or in an entire site, that's when you would use inline CSS. Internal style sheets are more representative and consistent throughout an entire page. Now you have your styles, which is your CSS, all within the, the head tags, opening and closing. So let's go ahead and set it up like we had with the other one where the color is blue. We have within your CSS, we have the HTML tag of H1, and then we have two properties, color and margin. Now, notice down here underneath the body tag, we have plain Jane HTML which is just H1, this is a heading, and you end it. Well, that's all it gives you. That's great. But what happens when I add, will this be blue, another H1? Well, guess what? It does make it blue because the style this time, the CSS, is within the head. So any time on the entire page that you run into an H1, or if you were to declare um, a P element or a body element or any other element that you wanted to that was an HTML element, you can style or add CSS coding to your website within the head. Okay, so in sum, let's go down. Inline CSS, HTML, CSS are in the same line, thus it's called inline. So on one line of code, you have your HTML and you have your CSS defined. By the way, remember when you do the challenge, the secret word is blue. Now what's internal CSS then? HTML and CSS are within the head section. So you have your two head opening and closing tags and all your CSS, all your styles are within those in an opening and closing style tag. Notice the body tag is always underneath the closing head. Everything you want to view on a website should be within the two opening and closing body tags. So go ahead, let's have a friendly competition. Join in, test your skills. Make sure to click the CSS competition link once you exit this video and see, will you be the CSS champ?